Well, folks, I don't think you're gonna be too stunning and brave after this video because you see we got the ESG score coming out of multiple different companies and they are actually mad that the ESG score is low, which means that they need to up their ESG score, which means that they want to have stunning and brave characters like this in our video games. Yay! Like the video if you do not want to have stunning and brave characters like this in your games. <laughs> Dislike the video if you think there are more than 5,000 genders. But get ready for the main event. Fasten your seed belts. Stop rolling your fat doobies, guys. Roll this. It's ESG rating. And actually, let's go look at their ESG rating to show you what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. On sustainanalytics.com, you can actually search companies and see where they rank on the ESG leaderboards. Uh oh! In case those of you watching don't know what ESG stands for, it means economic, social, and governance. Basically, mm. think of it like a credit score, but for companies. Yeah. And your credit is based- To make it like very, very easy to understand, it's like the Chinese uh, social credit system, but for companies here in the West. <laughs> Yeah, and the higher the score, the more money you make with the BlackRock and the ESG and higher your profitabilities. But obviously, that in, in return, it also means lower fans' morale, <laughs> lowers fan trust, and fans being mad, uh, rightfully so, fans boycotting the game and all that crap, you feel what I'm saying? Like the video and I'll get minus one million social credits. And how woke you are and how much representation or diversity you have in your company. So if you ever wondered why companies always go out of their way to tell you they open some initiative that's aimed at certain groups to uplift them or something, it's to raise that ESG score. Anyway, ESG scores are ranked from 0 to 50. 0 to 10 means you're doing good because you're not high risk. And 50, obviously, means you've been a bad company and need rectifying. Amazon apparently ranks at 30.2 on the ESG risk. <laughs> Damn, they're high risk. Yeah, they need to up their ESG rating right now. They need to up the diversity. They need the strong, independent, stunning and brave character. Absolutely. Rating score. So they are not doing well enough when it comes to ESG. This means other investors will look at Amazon and not want to invest in their company because it could affect their social credit scores by doing so. If this all sounds insane and really stupid to you, you're right, it, it is. This entire concept is moronic, oh, man. and it goes directly against what makes a product or company actually good and profitable. Yeah. And welcome to 2024, fellas. Yep. I've been fighting this nonsense for two years now, and it's- Back in the days, and get ready for the main event, there's a lot of brilliant stuff coming up. There's like Warhammer drama, Pokemon drama, uh, uh, and a lot of the issues, community managers being racist towards uh, gamers as well, being and also saying that hey, gamers need to be banned, gamer needs to be sued, right? We have that. We we apparently had the BBC reporter not talking about this uh, BBC here, guys. I know a lot of you guys are like, bruh, uh, you always talk about the friendly line. Not talking about this BBC bundle that we had in Call of Duty, but I'm talking about the actual British broadcasting channel. Bruh. They issued warnings. They were like, okay, we need to sue gamers gamer needs to die they literally said that yeah we, we actually covered that not long ago but like holy crap like what the hell is going on in gaming right now bro like seriously like it's 2024 so as you can see amazon's esg is not the best in fact they're in the lower end of companies when compared to their yeah. competition which obviously looks really bad for investors and woke weirdos who virtue signal the reason why I'm explaining this to you is to show you that the implementation of more female representation where it doesn't need to exist in Warhammer is not being done for genuine reasons. It's simply being done to get that ESG risk rating from that 30.2 that it's at to a more acceptable 10 to 20 yeah. or even lower risk rating. Yeah, and the lore. more pandering Amazon does, like changing your Warhammer 40k lore to fit- Yo, who do, who do you think has like 10 or lower? Uh, yeah, right? Like, Vo Voilition, probably. Naughty Dog, I think, after they had, like, Abby the Brock Lesnar, right? L I'm talking about Abby, yeah, you know, strong, independent uh, queen. Uh, it was a king that turned out to be a queen in the game. So, I, I believe they would be lower. Naughty Dog, absolutely. A uh, Voilition that made Saints Row, uh, Saints Row, I mean, Saints Woke, rather. <laughs> Almost got a Saints Row, Saints Woke, or Saints Woke. Yeah, 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 yeah. and they had to shut down their studio. I, I think... They were definitely at number one because then they had to ultimately shut down their studio because it was just it was just too woke. It was just too woke, and fans didn't like it. Fans didn't With like their it. Their agenda, the better it is for them. 
Sure, they'll lose money and viewership numbers, but to them, millions of dollars lost is worth making that arbitrary score go down just a little bit more. But I think what this Why? alleged rumor claims is that it's not Games Workshop's fault entirely. And clearly, they know that this lore change would upset the fans. I mean, take a look yeah. recently at their stock prices, and yeah, it's not looking good. But it seems that Games Workshop is attempting to mitigate the damage and write out the- But, but they see that as like a 3% down. I know 3% down, it's still like a lot of money. Depending on the stock, it could be billions of dollars. Uh, for example, if Microsoft uh, stock were to go down 3%, they would have lose like millions. I'm not sure about their market cap. Uh, I don't want to rewind to see. I feel like that he showed the market cap as well, but- The storm of controversy by simply stating that there is female custodians all along. But they're yeah. again not actually Wait going it, to make any figurines or any actual product that depicts this in physical or promotional form, allegedly anyway. Okay. So they're trying to appease Amazon in order to get this live action series to happen, but are taking what they see as necessary evils in return to make it happen. But of okay. course, the alleged claim that Henry Cavill is not happy with these changes and has threatened his exit are not good no matter what. Because Man, Henry Cavill is being done dirty though. It's like, yo, I'm a massive fan of uh, uh, Man, Man of Steel, okay? I love that movie, bro. Yeah, I love that movie, man. I love that movie. I feel like that movie was ahead of its time. I wanna see Man of Steel too. I wanna see Superman, uh, Henry Cavill being Superman. And it was gonna happen. It was gonna happen, dog. It was gonna happen. But then they're, it's like they fire him. And they're, at first they're, they're like, okay, come back. Nah, you don't wanna come back, okay? They refuse him. Then he's like, okay, I can come back. And they're like, yeah, come back. And then when he accepts it, you want some coming back, then you're like, uh, okay, I don't want you coming back. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I believe it was the director of uh, uh, Guardian of the Galaxy that declined him, right? I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong for sure. Uh, and, and, and the Witcher drama that happened, now this Warhammer drama, what, uh, drama, what the hell is going on? And I want to show you this crap right now. You guys are not ready for this one. And right as we get down to our main event, this is a uh, plot number one, but uh, climax right after this one, guys. And then the main event. Uh, real quick, I want to see if you guys use Twitter uh, or X. Instagram, Twitch. If you use any of the social media, these are my social media handles. I would love to have you there as well, just in case, you know, just in case. Links are always in description. The handles are always Skizzlex as well. I would love to have you uh, along there as well. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo boo. Prior to its release next week, the latest is from Inverse and it's titled Stellar Blade and the Male Gaze. There's oh, a no. lot of toxic feminist nonsense in this article, but I want to read the parts that are the most relevant, Inverse said, and I quote, Eve doesn't seem to have any reaction to her own sexiness. There's no knowing facial expressions, no flipping of her long ponytail, which players yeah. can shorten in the options oh, menu. Man. She has no idle animation, except when she's on a ladder, she just stands there. Yeah. She's sexy, but doesn't know it. She's athletic and acrobatic, but entirely controllable. If she did know, if she could move for herself, it would shatter the illusion of many of the gamers championing her because she'd have the agency to be able to reject them rather than simply be controlled by them. The way uh -huh. we gaze changes in video games as it often depends on the differences present between gameplay and cutscenes. Okay. A lot of the time we aren't really looking at the avatar, we're looking uh -huh. through the avatar and with the avatar. This is most obvious during Stellar Blade's combat, all eyes are on the enemies waiting for an opening to counter or dodge. Eve is a blur, defying any gaze that would- <gasps> You guys, for real? So she- yeah, he, but he doesn't know it. Okay, that's uh, fair. And, and yeah, these suckers are also mad with the ponytail and all that. They don't want no ponytail. They don't want no long hair. They want this. They want a man. They want a man. Why? 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 This is not a female, bro. This is a man. Why y'all suckers doing uh, female characters dirty? Why y'all are why y'all are being misogynist? This is misogynistic, bro. Or misogynist, I don't even know. Like English is a hard language, right? Uh, sometimes, guys. Uh, but, but how many how many people when we're saying them, they, them? Uh, how many people? Two people? Three people? Four thousand? How many people we're talking? But it's like y'all suckers are doing the the real woman in the in this world dirty, bro. Like holy crap seek to isolate one part of her body from the devastatingly effective whole. During cutscenes, the perspective and the gaze changes. There's something there in showing the physical potential of that body type with combat Damn. and athleticism. 
It's not just nice to look at, then you get to the cutscenes and every single one of those narrative sequences starts with the camera pointed at her bum. That's doing something different. There's also a robot- Oh man, oh man. Why, bro? Why y'all pointing the camera at the- <laughs> This is crazy. I'm pretty sure like yeah, the ponytail definitely melted their brain But that jawline bro that feminine jawline bro This was the main factor why these suckers are like this man about like this video game character Eve Yeah, right bot who follows Eve around during exploration segments shining oh a God. light that frequently highlights oh my her behind Yo, Loki, I, I know, like, uh, uh, I'm gonna have, like, a rare, or not rare, a controversial opinion, controversial opinion. I feel like that Eve looks pretty good in that green clothing rather than the skin clothing. I, I know skin, skin, um, outfit is, like, much more popular, but I, I like the green color. Because, like, the green color looks very good on her, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like that, yeah, that's... Maybe I'm wrong, maybe, or maybe I'm right. Unpopular opinion, I guess, or controversial. Body is both a site of empowerment and objectification depending on how we're invited to look at or through it. Based on the social media responses to news about Eve's body and outfits, clips of her way her bum and thighs jiggle as she climbs ladders, all this amidst the pushback against games that feature diverse characters and bodies, a lot of straight men seem to be assuming themselves as the rightful target audience of not just Stellar Blade, but video games in general. Statistics show that this just isn't true. As of 2023, around 50% of people who play video games are women. Shift up assuming an audience of men and leaning into the male- St Bro! Stop the cap! Stop the cap, bro! 50, who says 50? Now, I do believe that, yeah, women do play video games, but, like, they're not playing the same games as us. Or, for example, Call of Duty, right? Of course females play, but do 50% of them play Call of Duty? Hell no, bro, what are we talking about here? Females play, there are some games that appeal to females and other games appeal to men, okay? Right, and that's perfectly fine. There are games that men won't play, and there are games that females won't play, or or some men would play, not majority. Let's just say majority won't play, uh, and vice versa, and that is perfectly fine. There are games that market and cater to females, and there are games that cater to men a lot more than usual. It's like, what are we talking, 50%? That's cap, bro. That's cap. Gay so explicitly is, in essence, a marketing move that purposely others a huge number of potential players. I gotta show you if this producers as well. want to it's create video here. games that are only intended for male oh, yeah, audiences, yeah. it's really unwise because they are alienating a huge demographic. With Gamergate, it was this idea of you are taking away our culture. It's not your yeah. culture, it's everyone's culture. Women gamers are new, women have always played games. There's a struggle for dominance where actually there has never been dominance. The truth is, a lot of people, men, women, non-binary, straight, queer, find Eve attractive. However, the way Stellar Blade is being marketed is drawing Damn. in the new Gamergate 2 crowd and Eve is being used as a cudgel by which to bash other feminine protagonists and even women journalists like Kotaku's Alyssa Mercanti. Rather than yeah. just catering to the male gaze and creating- Yo, yo, was that Freddy W though? Freddy Wong? Y you guys know who I'm talking about, right? Freddy W? He was one of the first guy- I I'm not sure for how long you guys have been like watching YouTube videos, but like- Man, I, I really did start YouTube because of Smosh and like Freddy Wong. He was the, the one of the first guy to ever make like FPS videos in real life with like, you, you know, FPS games, Call of Duty in real life, GoPro here with Airsoft in the front. Y you, you, you know what I mean, right? One in the comments if you know who I'm talking about. Uh, obviously, he was not the first first guy, but first guy to revolutionize that type of content with especially, especially quality, right? Like he was the first guy to make some of the best FPS game videos. Then I found out Elie. Right. Yeah. T. Martin, you know when Call of Duty was just like on top, Brad. That's how I got into gaming and all that. And now we here, guys. Now we here with the ESG bowl. It's like Kotaku's Alyssa Mercanti. Rather than just catering to the male gaze and creating hourglass figures and jiggly bits, why not consider the muscle mommies, the dad bots, <gasps> disabled people? Greater representation oh, yeah, this, in body types doesn't have to mean less attractive. It's yeah, not about this. making games less sexy, it's about making games more sexy for more people." End quote. Okay, there's a lot there, but that ending part especially is hilarious to me that they're mad that Stellar Blade apparently only adheres to the male gaze. 
and they're upset that developer Shift Up has not considered making characters within the game more representational of other body types. Okay. They even unironically state that Shift Up is wrong in not having disabled people wrong. or people with dad bods in it. <laughs> However, the game is not out yet, as of the making of this video anyway, and we don't know- Yeah, like, what if, what if they have a dude in the game with a dad bod, right? Bruh. Is it dad bod or dead bod? With a D. D for, uh, okay, I don't want to say D for, because there's only one word in my mind that I'm thinking about right now. Bruh. And I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I think you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's like, D for... D for who? Dixon, maybe? Okay, D for Dixon, let's just say. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, D for... <laughs> yeah, yeah, scratch that part, scratch that part. Oh, if they don't adhere to those sorts of body types. But disabled is Dang. a blanket term. I mean, there's the old guy in one of the trailers. Okay, so let's do a quick little comparison here. Types. But this Okay, this jawline, guys, or this jawline? Which one we picking, okay? This or this? This or this? Okay, this or this? Which one you going with, guys? Which one you going with? Disabled is a blanket term. I mean, there's the old guy in one of the trailers who looks like the village elder, but he's all part machine too. He doesn't look like he can walk or anything. I could be wrong. The game isn't yeah, out wrong. yet, so maybe he's disabled. All right, let's 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 get down to the main event, right? This is the main event. I believe it's somewhere right around here. Yay, this one. Uh-oh, guys. Hide your kids. Hide your wives. Hide your wives. And now everyone looks ambiguous when it comes to their gender. Like, look at these side-by-side -side comparisons. Crazy, it's not even up for debate, dude. They cooked your avatars. Yeah. Like, this user Crazy. who said their avatar now looks like a lesbian, and I mean they're <laughs> out of line, but they're oh, right, man. they do. Look at these users' avatars who said, please tell me how you think the new avatar looks better in any way. Gone are their hips, they don't look feminine anymore, and if- Yeah, look, look at this character, right? Let me actually put the captions, like, on the other side. So this is a character, and, and basically that happened in Pokemon Go, and essentially they were like, okay, players can now make their own avatar in the game. I believe, uh, if I'm not wrong, I, I think they would by simply- Oh, my bad for that. Uh, I, I think they would simply, like, face scan or body scan and then they can have I, I could be wrong i never played uh pokemon go that's my understanding of it and it's like it will scan your face your body and then put you as an avatar in the game i think that's how it works you let me, you correct me if i'm wrong and then when you're in game well uh, this is what they they do to your body you know you 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 you're flat like that everybody's flat like that especially the females the real females in the real world they look like that now in the game and they're they're not like that in real life if you do go look at their replies you'll notice that the people complaining about these changes more often than not are actually female players yeah because despite what inverse.com and niantic and others believe women actually like playing good looking female characters because what woman out there wants to be ugly? Well, unless they're a crazy person, the answer is very unlikely. Yeah. Most yeah. women go to the gym and wear makeup. Yeah, even, even men, we don't want to be. Like, nobody want to be. Uh, no disrespect, though. Obviously, everybody can improve their, their looks uh, and how they look and all that. Not for other people, but for themselves. You want to look good for you, right? Because you look good, you feel more confident. You feel confident, you look better, you can do a lot more, right? Uh, and uh, obviously, if you're a guy... You gotta, you gotta work out, man. I hate working out. I'm gonna be the first guy that actually says, uh, I, I don't like working out, but it's necessary, and I do it every single day. Uh, I, I barely get time to go to the gym. Guess what I do? I try to work out like 5-10 minutes a day every single day, and that keeps me in shape. Uh, I wanna extend the time, and I hate it, bro. Like, I don't like working out. I don't like working out, but it's necessary. It is necessary, and, and I've been doing it for so long, and let me tell you, it's boost, it boosts pro productivity. You stay in shape as well, and you are more confident as well. You have a lot more brain cells that's scientifically proven as well. You get ideas a lot more faster, and you become better version of yourself. Yeah, bro, like, they want you miserable. They want you being fat. They want you being depressed. No disrespect if you are or not. If you are, let's be real. Y you know... Uh, objectively speaking, it's bad for you. You know that if you're fat, right? No disrespect, though. I, I mean, listen, I'm not judging your character, right? I'm just judging, uh, or not necessarily judging, but, like, the, the fat part of you, you know that it's it's bad if you are. Maybe you're not. Maybe you are. Uh, and, and, and everybody can lose weight, right? And if you lose weight, 
that's you got my respect and uh, you got a lot of people respect and who cares about other people respect right like it's just healthy for you it's just better for you you're gonna extend your life expectancy you know you're gonna do it for your family for your future family if you don't have kids or or, or, or vice versa or you know if you don't what, 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 what am i saying what, not vice versa scratch that part it's just good for you you know drink water eat he eat healthy work out regularly it's good for you folks but this recently just happened. Click on this video on the screen because Activision just banned Dr. Disrespect because he went against this ESG score thing. Yay! Click on this video on the screen. You want to know what happened? Yeah, check it out on the left. This video is on my second channel. And I'll see you right there, guys.